Greetings, Xbox friends. I'm Ryan McCaffrey, joined as always by Mitch Dyer. Hello. Mitch, finish yes, this sir. song lyric. Meet the new boss. I don't know music. Sorry. The who, Mitch? All right. Same as the old boss, which definitely does not apply no, in this not case. Not even close. Uh, Microsoft has reorganized itself internally and uh, in, a, in a way, sort of, kind of, mostly replaced Don Matrick, who yes. left Rzinga yes, recently. So uh, 12 new divisions within Microsoft. One of them is mostly the Xbox division. We'll clarify that in here in just a minute. But Mitch, uh, yes. who, who is our new, our new figurehead for Xbox, our new boss of all things Xbox? Yeah, so that's Julie Larson Green. She's going to be in charge of all things Xbox from here on out. Uh, she has a lot of experience in Microsoft. Yeah, let's get to know Julie Larson <laughs> Green, shall we? Okay. Hit cheat, me. cheat? Yeah, we got it. She's been with Microsoft for 19 years. Yes. She's worked in all sorts of divisions. She's worked in uh, Office. She's worked with IE. She's worked with all sorts she of... She led the UI design on Office for a while, which she, is interesting. Yep. She was um, responsible for a bunch of stuff with Visual C++. She's a self-taught programmer. She's a smart lady. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Windows 7 was her baby. Yeah. She, uh, also, she, went, she we worked on her. Microsoft Front Page, which uh, remember that was back... No. When uh, that was like baby's first web page design. Oh really? I actually used. I made a couple little web pages with front page. It was a good I've program never back heard of in the it. day. Yeah. But yes, she has now been put in charge of the uh, the new division, which is oddly uh, oddly titled. Mitch. Devices and Services Engineering Group. What? That's even weirder than entertainment yeah. and devices, which right. is what the division used to or be. Or interactive called. entertainment business. All, they have such weird titles. <laughs> Microsoft. It's silly. But. Uh, so that's that's a little bit about about Julie Larson Green. Um, we'll, uh, she's got a challenge. We'll mention in a second. But but there's actually there's sort of a couple of sub bosses. Yes. If if this were a role playing game. Yeah. She's old, not the like, only person who is <laughs> a, a part of the reorg at Microsoft. Yeah. You've got uh, the Operating Systems Engineering Group, uh, which will span all of the, that'll basically include the Xbox dashboard and the 17 operating systems that are running on the Xbox One. Uh, simultaneously, yeah. and that's headed up by Terry Meyerson, former Windows Phone boss. Makes sense, given the UI. Very true, Metro UI. And then finally, the uh, Skype. The uh, Microsoft, of course, bought Skype for a pretty penny. Yes. About a, what, a year or two back. Yep. And so uh, the, the head of Skype, Tony Bates, has been, has been given a seat at the grown-ups table at Microsoft, and he will be, uh, he will be running the, I love this one, the Business Development and Evangelism Group. Of course, <laughs> which will uh, quote focus on key partnerships, including our broad work on evangelism and developer outreach. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, so, Mitch, what does this mean? It's been a it's been a turbulent ride. Yes. for the Xbox One ever since its May twenty first reveal. <laughs> Even really before that, when it was you know the, allegedly supposed to be revealed a month or so before right, yeah, May twenty yeah. first. So, what what does all this mean? for between now and launch for Xbox One. So uh, this is the group of people that's going to be picking up the pieces of the mixed messaging disaster that's happened since May 21st. Yeah. After the fallout of, you know, the, the console's a mess and people aren't happy and Microsoft's reversals and taking the headset out of the box and putting it back in. These are the people that now have to tell you that you want this console. They're the ones who are going to be evangelizing the console. Yeah. Uh, I fully expect Ms. Uh, Ms. Larson Green to get on stage. Probably, I would think maybe Gamescom, Gamescom would be the next big opportunity to do that. The big German games convention, yes. which is essentially the European E3. It's yeah. a Huge. big, big deal. Big. Uh, we will be there. I will be there personally as well. So, um, yeah, good chance for them to, to rehabilitate the, the very bruised PR uh, <laughs> image yes. of the Xbox One over the next few months heading up to the system's November launch. So, for Mitch Dyer, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. For all things Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and however many other divisions Microsoft has. We're already in the right place, Mitch. Where is it? IGN. Oh, yeah.